and girls, now my name is Lynn, and welcome to the Bulls and Piquera for my flyers. Now this bird right over here is one of our show's high flyers. Thank you, Baba. This afternoon, we're going to take all of you on a flight and journey to the wonderful and colorful world of birds. We hope you leave the show feeling amazed by our bird conservation champions and be inspired to take actions for all our feather friends across the world. Right now, we are going to highlight the natural behaviors of macaws. In the wild, macaws would congregate on palm trees and feast on palm nuts. Now, do all of you see a palm tree anywhere? But hey, look up there! Those palm leaves look pretty cute, don't they? Everyone, look up there, let's welcome the birds! Whoa, look at that blue bird fly, now that is Gaia, a high sea macaw. Two more of his friends will be joining him. We have Ferrari and Lambo, both scarlet macaws. Macaws, they can be found in the jungles of South America. So after feeding, macaws, they would go to rocky areas just like this to lick up clay or chalk. This would help them with the digestion of unripe palm leaves or nuts that they have eaten. Well, it looks like they are still on the palm leaves, but not to worry. This will definitely be their next stop. Now, we have more birds joining us, and birds, they often get a food for their young, especially during the nesting season. This afternoon, we are going to have a little competition, and they are going to need supporters. Now, people from this side, you are going to support Donna, the blue and gold macaw. When the match starts, I want all of you to clap your hands and chase him just like this. Zonda! Zonda! Come on! That's true! Zonda! Very good! People from this side, you are going to support Barry the Green Wing McCall. Same thing, clap your hands and chase him. One, two, three, go! Barry! 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 Very good! Cheering! Now burst through the table. So birds, they get a food in tree hollows just like this. Alright, now we have four fruits on each side of the table. Alright, so birds ready, birds ready and go! Look at that nest box. Do you see them? 
Oh, there goes the first one. Can you hear him? Whoa, there he goes. All right, now one more of their friends will be joining him. There you go, now these birds, they are some corniest and they can be found in the forest of South America. So just like you and I, they live in a very large group. Can you imagine them living in a large flock? How noisy and colorful these birds will be. Now the Jurong Bird Park is not only active in conservation, we also get school children involved as well. So that nest box back then, where the sun corners came out from, they were built by students from Greenwich Primary School in conjunction with Earthday. Alright, well, is that Tangerine? Tangerine, your friends have already gone back home. Gonna go home now. Now, if you would like to see more species of sun corners, you can actually head on down to the Heliconia Walk, which is just behind the pool's empty theatre. Alright, Tangerine, gotta go back home now. All the way back to that nest box. Oh, he's still eating. By the way, what we give to our birds here, okay, inside their monkey bees, we have color feathers, we have bread, we have sunflower seeds. They love to eat sunflower seeds as well. Alright, now anyone else wants to try to do this, okay? Wants to hold the enrichment rope, okay? Just raise your hands and Buddy will pick you. Now, Tangerine, do you want to make your way back home now? Your friends are waiting for you. All the way back home. There you go. All the way back. Can we give our son Cornelius a round of applause? Now we need two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Raise your hands and my friends will pick you. Okay, now two cans. Two cans we like to nest in trees. And in the morning, both the male and the female, they will look for food to feed their chicks. Now the birds, they will be flying very low above your heads, so I need your cooperation to please do not reach up and touch them. Now Booty right over there, he needs a volunteer, so anyone wants to volunteer, raise your hand. How about you ma'am, the one in green? Oh, he really chose the volunteer right over there. Okay. Yes ma'am, you follow Booty and he'll tell you what to do. Alright, looks like our volunteer is in position. Everyone, look at that house. You see the birds? Wow! Now these are Toko toucans and they are the largest in the toucan family. Alright, now look at the beaks. Look at their beaks, I mean. Well, despite its size, their beaks are actually very lightweight and formal and they can even catch insects in mid-life. Now, now, Mr. and Mrs. Hall, you've got to fly to our next volunteer right over there. Yes. Fly well, all the way to our second volunteer. Look at that. Asa is trying to make him fly to the other side. So later on, what Asa will be doing is he will be throwing two pieces of fruit high up in the air. Okay, and let us see if the two cans can catch them. It's the horn. You've got to fly all the way there. Come on. Alright. Looks like he loves the volunteer over there. Ah, there you go. Alright, now Asa he will be throwing two pieces of fruit high up in the air. Let us see if the two kids can catch them, okay? Right, he's gonna show the first one down. Whoa, good catch! One more time. And another great catch by our Toko two kids. So as I was saying, they are Mr. and Mrs. Scott. They are a husband and wife team. Now it's very lucky for us to see these birds up close, but their numbers in the wild are declining due to deforestation and poaching. Now we can all help these beautiful birds by supporting your local conservation efforts. Now these two birds, they are very loyal to one another and it's time for them to head back home. Alright, you place them here. Now when the wife moves, the husband will follow. Our Toko Tuket! What differentiates parrots from other animals is their ability to copy sounds and they use this as a form of social communication in the wild. Now the yellow-winged Amazon is famous for its ability to mimic human sounds and we have one such bird today. So everybody get your video cameras ready. Alright, thank you Armin. Now we are going to start with something very simple. Can you say hello? Hello. Oh, very sweet. Hello. Now can you tell everybody here your name? Amigo. Amigo is his name. 
Now the Jurong bird calf is successful in breeding the oriental pine hornbills using nest boxes like this. And thanks to the contribution of our conservation fund, we have successfully released them back into nature reserves in Singapore. Now together with the Singapore National Park Board and Bird Experts, we have successfully released the oriental pine hornbills into the wild as well as right here in the Jurong bird park. So do keep your eyes wide open for them up there at our toucan and hornbill exhibit. Alright, our friend, it's time for you to head back home all the way down to me. Well, it looks like you missed me there. I'm going to reposition myself now. Alright, our friend, over here, come on. There you go. Thank you, our hornbills. Well done, Alfred. Ladies and gentlemen, now comes the time to simply enjoy the bird's flight. If you want to volunteer, raise your hands. The trainers, they will pick you. Now look at the bird's powerful wings as they fly past you. Now this allows them to swoop through branches and trees in the rainforests of South America. Now, unfortunately, their wild friends are losing their homes at the rate of one football field per day. Now this is due to human development. Now we can all do our part for these beautiful birds by buying less of everything. Even better, if we can all reuse our own things, buy second-hand products, or even recycled products. This will reduce the need to make new things and the clearing of the birds' holes. Now, volunteers, keep the hooks very still, and for those of you who are not holding the hooks, please remain seated at all times. And even if you're taking pictures, please sit down. Because if you stand up, you might be in the palm of the birds. We do not want you to get injured, nor do we want the birds to get injured as well. Remember, volunteers, keep the hooks very, very still. All right, looks like the volunteers are all ready. We are waiting for one last volunteer. Okay, make sure the hoop is nice and still, Rono. That's good. Patino will fight first. Off goes Vega. Well done, Vega and Patina. Now, of course, they have a long tail, powerful wing flaps, and sharp eyesight. 